All right, I thought I'd shoot this video. It's just gonna be a short one, um, but I wanted to warn people it's gonna take me a while to get a part for this uh, for this radio. I think I know what's wrong with it, and I need to order a part from Asia, and it's just gonna take a while to get here. So I thought I'd let you know that I haven't forgotten about the radio, but um, there'll be a, a an interlude before I get back to it because I'm waiting for a part, and the part is way over here. Um, so I've already kind of um, said that the, 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 the power amplifier is good. And the power amplifier uh, comes, uh, this, this coax here feeds the power amplifier. And so um, the power amplifier and all the drivers seem to be good, but there's a pre-driver, which is this little chip down here. And it is a little uh, plus 18 dBm, or eight, plus 18 dB uh, amplifier, handles all frequencies. And um, in searching the web for problems with this radio, that's, that's the one that always goes bad. Um, it's not switched with transmit VCC. It's on all the time. Now that shouldn't be a problem because that's what the what's what the part was designed to do. But for some reason, these parts fail over time. Um, so um, I, I need to I need to find some replacements for that little guy. And he is really buried in there, and it's surface mount. So I'm going to have to be really careful desoldering him, putting him back in. But I think I can do all of that. So I have a part on order. Um, I'll show you uh, a closer view of this and you can see you can see the part there and how close it is to, to other things. It's a little SOP um, 8 pin. I think that's the right way to, to describe that package. And um, it, uh, it is known to go bad. Now some people put a heat sink on it afterwards. I might glue a heat sink onto it. Some people solder one to the pads because um, the heat comes out the legs. Um, that's an okay thing to do. Um, I think maybe just a, 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 a little heat sick on top will, will make it happier. Um, and let's see, what are their... So they're no longer made. They're hard to get in the U.S. I had to get one from Asia. Um, but people say, yeah, they go bad all the time. Some people have modified the circuit so that the VCC is on the transmit VCC. So it, it's only, it's only uh, powered up when you're in transmit mode. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think I want to go that far. You know, it probably lasted a, a decade or two before before I got it, and I'll replace it and last another decade or two. I don't know. <laughs> if I put a little heat sick on it, it might last forever. Uh, this little this little thing goes right here. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that's that's what there is. That's what's going on with the radio. Uh, I wasn't really zoomed in, but like I said, it's it's tucked up, tucked up, tucked up under there. Um, and the radio does not have any additional filters. So there's a big filter that can go here, and there's two filters that can go here. Um, so these, so this, two, it's a it's a double heterodyne, a double conversion heterodyne, whatever. Um, so there's one filter at eight megahertz, and you can put in two narrower filters at eight megahertz. And then there's a filters at 455 kilohertz. It has one, but there's a space for another one for for a narrow. Uh, CW filter in here, and they have they're socketed, so they can just plug right in there. But um, yeah, they're pretty expensive. Filters are ridiculously expensive, so uh, probably won't be putting those in there. It does have a, a DSP filter in it, which is usually good enough for what I want it for. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. Fans over here. It's a it's a very nice radio to work on. Uh, it, it's a, it it is pretty easy. Um, I think I've already showed this side before. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get the parts in and uh, and uh, see if it fixes it.